All right, good morning everyone. So let's open the course book, all right, to page 103. All right, and today we are going to do uh, word problems using uh, multiplication and division. So I'm going to first explain the problem and then we will do it, do the work in the exercise book, all right. So course book page 103. Can you please all open? Also get your highlighters ready so that we can uh, highlight the keywords, okay? Okay, are you ready? Okay, Bala took 24 pictures. David took three times as many pictures as Bala did. How many pictures did the two boys take in all? Now, what's the first thing we do when we have a word problem? We understand it. Then we plan and we do it. And the last part is checking. So we've done this uh, many times. So by now you guys should know. So the first part is understanding the problem, okay? So what were Bala and David doing? That's important. There are two people, what were they doing? All right, before that, can you highlight three times as many? Please highlight that three times as many. Okay, so what were Bala and David doing? How many pictures did Bala take? And who took more pictures, Bala or David? What do I have to find? So these are all the things that you have to understand. First, what were they doing? Who took more pictures? And uh, what do we have to find out? So let me draw a model. One unit is 24. 24, why? Because Bala took 24 pictures. So that's one unit. Now, uh, total number of units is four. How? Because David took three times as many as Bala. So if you look at the model, one unit is 24, which Bala took, and then David took three times as many. So what do you have to do? What we do, we have to find out. We have to find out how many pictures did the two boys take in all. That means all together they took how many. So we have to take how many units are there? Four. So 24 times 4, you multiply and you get the answer 96. So the boys took 96 pictures in all. So 24, 20 times 4, checking, 20 times 4 is 80. So 96 is a reasonable amount. Okay. So that is understanding the word problem. Okay. Next, we are going to do the word problem. All right. Okay. Okay, now let's look at the next page which is 104, alright? So look at page 104. Now this is division. Now let's see, read the problem and see how it is. Miss, Mrs. Lim had 98 packets of biscuits. She kept two packets of biscuits and gave the rest equally. Now highlight the word equally to four group leaders. How many packets of biscuits did each group leader get? So highlight each group leader. So the first thing we need to do is we need to understand. Now, how many packets of biscuits did Mrs. Lim have? Okay, so she had 98 packets of biscuits. Did she give away all? No, she kept two and then she gave away the rest. Now, how many packets of biscuits did, you, did she give away? So how many did she give away? 98 minus 2 which is 96. Now how many group leaders were there? What do I have to find out? So these are all the questions that you need to understand before you start doing the problem. Okay. So planning and doing. So the first step is she didn't give away all. She had 98. She didn't give away all. So you have to minus 98 minus 2 which is 96. Alright, so first I have to find the number of packets of biscuits Mrs. Lim gave away. So that's 96. Then, how many group leader groups are there? There are four groups. So we have to find out each group gets how much. So we need to divide. So 96 divided by 4. You can look at your book. You can see they have done the long division. 
The answer is 24. So each group leader gets 24 packets of biscuits. Now, how do we check this uh, sound? So you can see how, you know, Ms. Shweta has done this in class also. How do we check? You multiply the answer by 4 and then you add the remainder or you add the extra. So you can see at the bottom, 24 times 4 is 96 plus the 2 that she kept for herself and answer is 98. So first problem was the multiplication. How we do when we have multiplication? The second problem is... Uh, when we have to divide or share all right so these are the two examples now we will start doing the problem now next page page 105 now i need you to write the day and date write down the title underline it write down the course book underline it and then copy question one okay copy the question first before you do the working all right okay